In the video lecture, we discussed the concepts behind simultaneous localization and mapping. Let's see how to implement the same in ROS. We will be using a package called Hectoslam. Use the command you see on the screen to install the Hectoslam package. I'm not running the command here as it's already installed on the system. Once the package is installed, we need to make some minor tweaks in the launch file. Go to the source folder for the installed package. Look up the launch file by name tutorial. You can ignore the other launch files you see on the screen as they have been created for test purposes. Open the launch file in a text editor with super user permissions. Let's go through the code here. The parameter sim time suggests the ROS master to use simulated timestamps when running the launch file. We will run the back laser data on simulated timestamps and hence we set this parameter as true. However, when using the raw laser data to build the map, you should set this parameter as false. These lines launch the RVs with some default configurations. The mapping default launch file loaded here is the place where we set all the parameters required for the algorithm. The Hectoslam package generates the transform between map and base frame. However, we need transforms between world and map frame and the base frame and laser frame. A static transform publisher package, as shown here, serves the purpose. That's all for the editing. Let's generate the map. First, run the ROS core. We will play the ROS back with a clock argument as we will be using the simulated timestamps. Run the tutorial launch file. The map may or may not work as perfect as visible here. You might have to play around with certain parameters we talked about during the lecture. You can go through the mapping default launch file to get an in-depth idea of the various parameters. As you can see here, we have parameters to set various frames, set the map resolution, number of grids to be used by the optimization algorithm. And several map update parameters, which can create a heavy impact on the map quality. To read more on this, and a few more parameters, follow the ROS wiki page for the Hector mapping package.
Also, don't forget to save the map using the map server.